Hey guys, what's up? Thanks so much for stopping by my channel and tuning in to another episode of The Monthly Memo. If you're new, my name is Shanique and The Monthly Memo is a monthly series I do here on my channel where I take a specific theme and for that month I try to centralize and focus on that theme and implement it into my life. So for the month of March, I have chose the theme of gratitude. So definition of gratitude is the quality of being thankful and I'm feeling extra thankful, extra grateful because I feel like I am coming out of a season. We are literally coming out of winter and going into spring, but we're also coming out of a season in a way because it has been about a year since the whole pandemic broke out and affected us all in some type of way. And even though we've made some progress and there is hope for you know the near future with the vaccines and everything, um, there's still a lot of work to be done. But I wanted to focus on gratitude because it's so easy to focus on things that are discouraging and we kind of overlook or take for granted the things that we do have because we're so focused on other things that may have our attention. So yeah, gratitude, super important. I have been practicing um, the art of gratitude for a long time now. I learned not to take things for granted because I feel like I learned to understand that the things that we have today, we may not have tomorrow. And that goes for everybody. Um, you can be as prepared as you want, but in the end, the future is unknown and we only have control over it to a certain extent. So I learned to be grateful and practice gratitude um, years ago. And I continue to implement that in my life. And I feel like it is really beneficial. And like I said, I feel like it gratitude and hopefulness go hand in hand and this is a time where a lot of people are losing hope and we just came through the colder seasons of fall and winter and I touched on seasonal depression in my last monthly memo video and now that we're emerging out of those seasons and coming into this new season um gratitude is more relevant now than Ever. If you're here watching this video, then that means that you've made it through a season or if you're currently in a season, you're still here, still fighting, still staying strong. But it can be super easy to lose hope or to feel that strength wavering. So I like to always write down the things that I'm grateful for whenever I'm feeling less than grateful, whenever I'm feeling pessimistic when I feel like super overwhelmed when I feel angry I just like to write down like 10 things that I'm grateful for I'm grateful for having a roof over my head when you think about how many people are homeless whenever I see a homeless person it just really hits me like that per like homeless people are people and you know a lot of times they're treated like they're not like they have some disease or they're just, you know, not part of society, but they're people and you never know what their story is. So I'm always grateful to have a roof over my head every day. I'm so grateful that I have a reliable vehicle. When I think about how inconvenient and difficult my life would be if I didn't have that and couldn't transport my kids and couldn't use it to make money go to the store. I'm super thankful for reliable transportation. I'm super thankful for a phone that I use for literally everything. I do everything on my phone. I'm so thankful for that. I'm thankful for food. I'm thankful I can feed my kids. I'm thankful for a sound mind. I feel like that's something that we tend to not think about often, if ever, but having a sound mind just being able to do day-to-day -day things um i'm thankful for my family i'm thankful to be here 
And I'm thankful every day that I wake up because it is a new opportunity for me to be better than I was yesterday. And I'm thankful for God's love and grace. And yeah, when I start writing all the things that I'm grateful for, I always like go past the number 10, like because I just start thinking about everything. It can be something as simple as you being thankful for a favorite t-shirt or something as, you know, maybe you feel like it's trivial, but like your favorite TV show, you're thankful that it still airs on the TV. There's so many things to find gratitude in. We just have to be conscious of it. And I feel like having gratitude is an exercise. You have to constantly do it. You have to constantly be grateful because when you start being ungrateful or taking things for granted, it's because you're not actively thinking about it. So when I sit down and eat my food, I am like, thank you for this food. And I feel like a lot of times we're unhappy with the things that we have. You may not love your car. You may not love your home, but you have a car, you have a home. That's a lot more than a lot of other people. Guys, this video really has no direction. I didn't plan this video like I planned the other two because I really just wanted to talk about gratitude and how I use it in my life and really just talk about, you know, some of the things that I'm grateful for. So I'm sorry if this is like all over the place. It's also like 11 p.m. Even if you're still in your season right now and you feel like you're stuck in your season, take the literal coming out of winter into spring as a transition because that is a transition in your life. It may not be a solid transition in like personal things that you're going through, but it is a transition and it's a new season. It's a new day. Every day that you have is an opportunity to be better. So something I wanna do is the next time I complain, and this is something that I've been doing, but I just wanna continue on because I have three kids and juggling being you know like a full-time mom and also just trying to work and do other things uh, it gets super overwhelming like i'm not even gonna hold you it gets super overwhelming and some days i'm just like it feels like too much and i want to like be mad i want to be upset but when i think about how much harder the situation for me could be and how many Moms would love to be in my situation and love to be with their kids all day. I'm instantly grateful. A change in perspective, that's what gratitude does. Um, and a change in perspective can be life-changing. I wanna continue with having gratitude and trying to find gratitude in all things. If you start to practice it, you will find it easy to be grateful for everything. Like. Literally from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to bed, there's so many things that in your head, super quick, you can just say that you're grateful for as you go through your day. Like, oh, I'm thankful I had enough gas to get here. I'm thankful I had money to, to get gas. I'm grateful that I had fruit so I can make a smoothie this morning. Like, it's just so simple, but it's just something that you have to actively keep doing. And then it just becomes natural. Even in situations that are super crazy, like this pandemic, um, the more you use it, the more natural it becomes and the easier it gets. But yeah, guys, I feel like I don't have too much content for today's video. Really, the only piece that I really wanted to emphasize was whenever you're feeling overwhelmed, whenever you're feeling, you know, angry about your situation or unhappy, just to sit down and quickly write down 10 things that you're grateful for. And it can really just shift your whole day, I promise you. So I'm curious to know if you guys are feeling hopeful about transitioning into this new season, if you're still feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling stagnant, if you're feeling stuck, like how are you guys feeling? And also what are you guys currently grateful for? That's all I have for you guys in today's video. As always, thanks so much for stopping by and watching. I love you guys. Please continue to stay safe. Feel free to open up discussion down below in the comments. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.